Hello and welcome back to the channel and today it's the big one, it's the season opener for Basingstoke Town as we host Bedfront Sports at the Winklebury Football Complex. So like I just said, it's the start of a brand new season, there's going to be cheers, there's going to be booze, there's going to be atmosphere, there's going to be everything isn't there Gemma? I know you're buzzing for this one like I am. Yeah it'd be really good uh, to see how we do and um, see if we can get them three points at home. Yeah certainly, last time we played these guys, um, wasn't long ago actually, it was at home. Uh, in March, April time, we lost four goals to two. Pr a pretty bad game, that. But today is um, a very hot summer's day, 35 degrees roughly. So we're going to have to have plenty of fluids, uh, plenty of sun cream. It's going to be a very hot day. Um, we're expecting a big atmosphere. We've got uh, a big squad. Gemma, I think you agree. We've got a big squad, but that's good because it means that players will be fighting for positions. So they've got to earn their spot, which is, I think is going to be a good thing. Like when you look at the recently announced retained list and who's going, we've signed more than we've lost, I believe, which is which I think is a very good thing because because at the end of the day, if players play bad, they're going to get kicked out when the next player comes in. So it'll be fighting for positions, which is very very good. So of course, the drum, like I said before, is back, which um which I'm buzzing for. I've not felt the same. Not taking it, so today's gonna be a good atmosphere, isn't it, Gemma? Hopefully, yeah, it'll be really good. Plenty of noise. Um, we've got a very good squad. I think we're gonna do very well this season. <clears throat> um, so, Gemma, your predictions uh, for today's game, your result? I reckon it could be maybe two, two nil or two one. I'm going with. Um, I've heard that. Brad Wilson will bang the drum if we win at the end of the game, which I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, if we win the game, of course. Hopefully, if we get them three points. Um, just worth mentioning before I go on, oh, my prediction actually is um, a 2 0 Basingstoke win. I reckon Brad Wilson and James Clark, both of the goals. Um, but, as if Clark is starting. Yeah, that's if he's starting, obviously, or even if he comes off the bench, either way. Um, but also, the club have announced that the vice captaincy is going to former Bracknell man Michael Atkinson. So, um, so hopefully that's a good decision. Apparently he's got great, great leadership on and off the pitch. So um, congrats we'll see how that goes. Yep, definitely. So congratulations to him. Um, we're looking forward to it. So let's get going, and hopefully we're in for a good day of football. Oh, 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 oh,
So we're back from the game. It was a stalemate in the season opener for Basingstoke Town on a very hot summer's day. Finished Basingstoke Town nil, Bedfront Sports nil. Um, like I just said, I think we'll take the point on the season opener. Gemma, first of all, your thoughts on today's warm game, very hot game. Yeah, um, overall I thought we were the better side as we had more chances on goal. Um, a draw is better than a, loo a loss. A nice clean sheet to start off the season. Um, and there was nothing really between the two sides really, just other than that we had, you know, more chances than goal and whatever. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Um, so I think it's a bit of both frustration and I thought we played well at times during today's game. Um, first half I think Bedford looked a slightly better side, but as the, the sort of first half come to a close I think we looked better. And the same for the second half as well, we had loads of chances in the second half towards the end of the game. Um, Argent had a shot saved in the first half, Dan Williamson was a work um, workhorse in the first half, he was running down the wing from right back, he done a fantastic job. I think Brad had a few, a few chances as well, cutting inside and stuff like that. Um, and Bedford had a few opportunities as well, but second half, obviously things got a bit more tasty in terms of the game. Um, so Marcio's gem, I would say, was one that came on just before the end of the game. Yeah, he was fantastic. His skills are incredible. Yeah, he's an incredible player coming off the bench. I mean, I'd like to see him, you know, play a full 90 minutes. Maybe he will at some point. Um, but I think he's an impact player coming off the bench. He's superb. I mean, he made, got through about three players, had a shot, and uh, luckily didn't go in. Unluckily, unluckily, it wasn't a goal. He had about two other chances as well before the end of the game. But he had a great game, Marcio Neves. Um, but like I said, I think at times we were, we were fantastic and at times we were very poor. Gave the ball away very easily um, against a good Bedfont side. I think, you know, I'll take a point even before the game, I'll take a point now. Bedfont will be up there in the playoff spots this season. That is for certain in my opinion. And also in the second half, Paul Strudley decided during the drinks break. Um, he didn't want to sit in the sun, he wanted to come in the stand with a bit of shade, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, overall it was a right, right game. The atmosphere is pretty good at times. Um, not as big a crowd as I was hope, hoping for, about 130 something. Um, but the start first game of the season is always like that at Basingstoke Town. But next up on Tuesday, we travel to Westfield, who had a corker of a game today. So, um, in terms of today's South Central results, it was Ashford Town nil, Binfield won. Um, Chertsey, the team that I think I will do well this season, but I was surprised by his result. Is Chertsey Town 4, South Park nil. 
Um, Shirts, so you have a fantastic blinding start to the season. That looked like a good game. Sutton, Common, Rovers 4 and Chipstead 3. Yeah, so a 7 goal for that at Chipstead. Sutton, Common, Rovers taking the 3 points there. I think the biggest shock of the day is Leatherhead nil Westfield 4. Yeah, and, and a Marlow game looked good. 4-4. Four, four. Walton Hersham 3. Yeah, another 7 goal for that in the Ishmael South Central League. But that Leatherhead game, I mean, Leatherhead are favourites for the league title. And uh, Westfield winning 4 0 at their, at their barn is quite tough for us because we're playing there on Tuesday night. Um, Merston 1, Southwood 2, Northwood 3, Tooting and Mitcham 2, Thatcham 0, Guernsey 0, so 2 0 nils on the opening day, and Uxbridge 1, Hanworth Villa 1. We're not going to bother showing you the league table yet because um, it's far too early um, in the season to bother doing that. But, Gemma, any more comments from today's game? Yeah, uh because I, I moved around a bit during the game to get good angles from the goals and whatever and the, and the views there was people that stood next to me and they were sort of I wasn't listening to them but they, like, I could hear them and they were saying that um, oh, when, when the players today had drip, like, like a few drink breaks throughout the game they, they were saying that they, it sort of ruined it ruined the game for them a bit but ha hang on because how can it ruin the game it's like 34 nearly 35 degree heat they need you need to give the players respect and, and a few drink breaks that's my opinion yeah a few people around me actually said that as well but i'm of the opinion it's too hot today even for me even just standing in that stand um it was horrible it was too hot for me um in the hot weather like this keep hydrated definitely but it's but today was the start of a new season we got um, obviously a clean sheet like you said earlier and I think you know it's important just to get that first point on the board um, but anyway thank you for watching subscribe for more please hit the like button if you want to see um, as it helps the channel out with the algorithm we've got to do that and give us a comment if you want to. and give us a comment if you was at the game what you thought of the game today and uh, maybe a prediction for the game at Westfield but until then thank you for watching see and we will see you next, next time, time.